Tomorrow night's Ohio State game at Michigan State will be just the fourth time an Urban Meyer Buckeye team has not been favored to win. The previous three, all in 2012, all on the road, the Buckeyes brought home victories. Mark has more in tonight's Buckeye beat. Motivation shouldn't be an issue for an Ohio State program in search of a signature win. You know, th these are the games that you get excited for. Um, when I came to Ohio State, I knew I wanted to play in games like these. Two, the two experiences I've had with Michigan State in 2012 and 13. I mean, it's a, that's a sledgehammer. Those are, these are, you know, say what you want about uh, any other teams and any other conferences or whatever. This team can play at any level, any conference, anywhere. And I'd like to think the Ohio State Buckeyes can too. So this is going to be a big time football game. Uh, that we have to be very smart, the, the whole key, and I don't mean to keep going back to this, but there's only one thing that matters, is that when the foot hits the ball at 8 o'clock at night, our guys are mentally, physically ready to rock and roll because it's going to be a rugged game. Spartan head coach Mark D'Antonio is known for manufacturing motivation when needed to give the MSU Spartans a chip on their proverbial shoulders, but the Buckeyes certainly have a lot of respect for tomorrow's opponent. He's done a great job, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, what can you say? I mean, all you got to do is look at the, the records. Yeah, they're gritty. They, uh, they're tough. They play till the whistle and a little bit after. Um, they're going to go for you. They're not going to ease up or anything. They go for four quarters. Uh, it's, a, it's really a fun game to play just because you know, I know I'm going to be out there for 70-something plays, and every single play is going to be just a war. Um, and I think that's, I don't know, that's why I like, I like playing football. It's not just to win football games. It's to be in a war with other guys and show that I'm better. And the Buckeyes are hoping to use the lessons learned in Happy Valley two weeks ago to springboard to a quick start and a strong finish. That part we know a lot about. You know, we'll, we'll find out about the the execution and the you know we, we got to obviously we can't play the way that we played in Happy Valley and, and expect to win this week. So we'll, we've got to execute a lot better than we did in that game. And and I think with that boost of confidence that we gained in that game that we'll be able to do that. Well, no one will ever replace Michigan as the number one rival for Ohio State, but, well, Michigan State certainly is making a strong case for it. Mike Miller from WIMA 1150, our Buckeye Insider, joins us now. And I think the Ohio State-Michigan State rivalry, Mike, is it's, it's a little bit underrated. It's the old, the enemy of my enemy is my friend thing because they both can't stand Michigan. But Michigan State has hurt Ohio State several times over the last decades certainly last right. year was just the most recent example oh there's been genuine pain with the spartans mark for those of us that have followed it for a long time 1974 was pretty painful up in east lansing of course more recent 1998 buckeyes were number one lost at home uh, obviously the big 10 championship game last year but i i did a little homework of my own earlier this week and uh, I am five for five with the Buckeyes <laughs> in East Lansing, so we'll, we'll see if that continues. But, yeah, it's a great rivalry, really, for geography reasons and the fact that the Spartans have been consistently pretty good. You look back at last year's Big Ten title game. I think on paper, Ohio State offensively doesn't look to be as good. You consider what they graduated from the offensive line. No Carlos Hyde, no Braxton Miller. Michigan State defensively looks to be just as good. Michigan State offensively looks to be even better. But I think the Ohio State defense has improved from last year. Yeah, I would say two things to that. One, I think the, the Michigan State defense might have a just a tad of susceptibility with defending the rush. We know how Oregon gashed them late in the game, uh, early in the season. Indiana had a little bit of success. I think statistically they're, I mean, they're top 10 nationally, but they're still a bit vulnerable to the run. It's going to be important for Ohio State to establish that. The Buckeye defense, I think we can almost say, and we'll get a better sense after Saturday night, the Buckeye defense might be measurably better than last year's Ohio State defense. And then there's that little component up front by the name of Joey Boza, who can potentially change everything. Yeah, Boza picking up some midseason watch list honors this past week as Ohio State will take on Michigan State as they get ready for this game. Armani Reeves, starting nickelback for Ohio State, most likely will not play against Michigan State. He set out the Illinois game. Uh, there's some medical issues. They're not 100% certain what's going on. Will the Silver Bullets be tested by this Michigan State offense? They will be tested because it's an offense that can do both things well. They can pass well. Connor Cook is now a veteran. He's got big numbers. He's over 1,800 yards. 
uh, very high on the efficiency ratings. Jeremy Langford is a proven big-time running back. So, yeah, the Ohio State defense is going to have to prove it can stop a, a two-dimensional offense like Michigan State will bring to the fore. So, big-time task. This, I think, is a game that not only both teams are going to go into claiming having a chip on their shoulder, both teams are going into this game with something to prove. Yeah, something to prove indeed. It, it's kind of like the uh, it's kind of like the rubber match uh, between Ohio State, and Michigan State. Ohio State won that game up there two years ago, and of course the neutral field battle in the Big Ten championship was a tremendous game that had uh, you know some peaks and valleys. That Michigan State was the survivor at the end of the day, and yeah, this is definitely a, a, a showdown game for something to prove. But it's also at the bottom line, Mark. It's the inside track to a potential conference championship, and that's what we all play for. If Ohio State had gone up to Happy Valley and blown out the Nittany Lions, would you have felt better about this Ohio State team than this Ohio State team that showed something to come from behind in overtime and force a double overtime and get the win at Penn State? Does that maybe provide the Buckeyes with some extra momentum, some extra pride, the confidence going in, in East Lansing? I would say on the margins a little bit. I think it was more of just a growth situation for Ohio State because they faced adversity under the lights in a really tough atmosphere. And Spartan Stadium will be a tough atmosphere. It won't be at, like Penn State. And, you know, in retrospect, Penn State was a pretty good defense that others haven't competed well against. So uh, if Ohio State would have blown out Penn State, then Ohio State would be maybe more of a juggernaut than, than some of us think uh, in that sense. But just the fact they got out of there with the victory and did it, uh, showing some gumption and some stick to in that overtime, I feel pretty good about that. What's your prediction for Saturday night? I think it's going to be a great game. I, I, it's going to be a rock'em, sock'em contest. They both got a lot going for them. Very similar uh, place kickers and line. I think the difference will be the improved Ohio State defense and then and the place kicker, Sean Nuremberg. I think a couple of field goals that Urban Meyer won't disdain in this game. The Buckeyes win something like 27-21. Last time Ohio State won a regular season game against a top 10 ranked foe was 2006. Last time they've won a regular season game against a top 10 foe on the road. You have to go back to even earlier, back mm -hmm. in the 1990s against one of the road trips to Iowa. Don't forget to join us on Buckeye Insider on Sunday morning. But for now, let's send it back to Andy.